In the following presentation, I'm going to give you an introduction to keyword research and search engine optimization from a musician's perspective. Now, despite what you might have heard, these processes are simple, straightforward, and make total sense. They're also imperative to implement in order to generate the most targeted traffic to your web content. Have a look. So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over keyword research and search engine optimization. I'll quickly explain what those two terms mean, why they're important, where do you perform keyword research easily, and how you can use them to generate the most traffic. Keyword research and search engine optimization. First of all, what are keywords? These are the words and phrases that relate to you and your website, entered into search engines such as Google or YouTube by potential customers or fans. Discovering what these keywords are and properly implementing them into your website content is a large part of what search engine optimization is. Google and other search engines rank web content, web pages, videos, images, largely based upon the keywords associated with that content. Now, that makes sense. They want to return the most relevant results to the user. So in order to attract the greatest number of visitors to your site, you need to target your content your videos, posts, website categories, and even domain name to these keywords. So where to find keywords? The Google Keyword Tool. This is a free tool provided by Google to aid their AdWord advertisers, but it also works extremely well for keyword research for web businesses in general. So how to find keywords? Let's turn to the computer now to see where and how to come up with keywords for your search engine optimization. So let's perform our keyword research with the Google Keyword Selector Tool. Open up Google and search for a Google Keyword Tool. There it is. Select that. Now this brings us to the Google AdWords Keyword Tool. You can either enter the cryptic picture message words to log in, or you can sign in with a Google account. Uh, at this point, you need to log in with a Google account in order to see all the information that the keyword tool supplies. If you already have a YouTube or Gmail account, you can log in with that. If you don't, then now would be a good time to get that set up. Okay, so I'm going to quickly sign in here. Enter my email and password that I have set up with Google. All right, so here is our Google keyword tool. So under find keywords, enter a starting word or phrase. For example, I am currently creating a video series for the guitar and harmonica. So I'll start by searching for harmonica lessons. I'm going to leave the website and category text boxes empty. Now, because I live in Canada, the country defaults to Canada, but looking at my YouTube analytics, I know that most of my viewers are from the United States, so I want to set my area to the United States. I do this by accessing the advanced options. I'll select the United States, reduce the size of that, so now I have United States, and now I'll click search. So the search results come back, and it defaults to this ad group ideas, which is in beta testing currently. This is not what I'm interested in at the moment. I want to know the keyword idea, so I'm going to select the keyword ideas tab here. Okay, the results will display a list of relevant keywords with the following statistics. We have competition. This measures advertisers bidding for the keyword in AdWord campaigns. This measurement doesn't really affect our keyword research other than to show which keywords advertisers believe are profitable, the ones with the highest competition. We also have global monthly searches. This shows how many times the search term has been searched for in Google worldwide in the past month. For local monthly searches, this gives the monthly statistics for the location. So the higher the global and local searches, then the more popular the search term. We also have local search trends. This graphically displays whether interest in the search term is large or small and whether it's increasing or decreasing. So here we are looking for large and increasing interest. So this is all really powerful information that you can use to select the best performing keywords for your web content. 
So you can change how the results are sorted by using the sorted by button here at the top right corner of the search results or by selecting on a particular category. We're currently set to sort by relevance. So the higher the keyword is on this list, the more relevant it is to the current search term. So now let's have a look at the list. The first thing I see is that there's good interest with excellent trending for the keyword phrase harmonica lessons. That's what I wanna see. It lets me know that I'm on the right track and that there are a lot of people searching for the information I'm going to provide. Scrolling down here, we'll look. The same goes for the keyword harmonica. This gets a huge number of searches and excellent trending. A variation of harmonica lessons is learn harmonica. This is getting good search results with good trending and should be used in my content as well. Play harmonica or how to play harmonica actually gets more searches than harmonica lessons. So targeting these keyword phrases may actually be better than harmonica lessons. Harmonica instruction is also getting a lot of searches with good trending. Now, because I want the greatest possible coverage, I'll incorporate all of these phrases into my content. Other related keywords with good interest include harmonica tabs, harmonica songs, blues harmonica, honer harmonica, and so on. So getting a feel from the quick keyword research done here, creating quality videos and other content targeting these keywords and also using the keywords correctly should result in a lot of targeted traffic. The keyword selector tool can be used to help define your website. A website category could be based on harmonica lessons. Within that category, you could have subcategories based upon the keyword research done for harmonica lessons, such as blues harmonica lessons or harmonica tabs or how to play harmonica songs. In each category or subcategory would then have individual posts based on the keywords related to that category. By building your website in this manner, you are setting up excellent search engine optimization practices. Search engines love that. It tells exactly what's going on and it's concentrating on specific keywords. In this video, I've talked about the importance of keyword research and search engine optimization. I introduced the what, why, where, and how of keyword research in SEO. Now, keywords and search engine optimization are extremely important in order to generate traffic to your YouTube video and your website. Keywords play an important part in how Google and YouTube rank your content. Now, content properly implemented with keywords will generate far more traffic than content that does not use keywords. So use keywords to come up with ideas for web and video content, website categories, even your website name. By getting organized from the start, you will be setting yourself up for success and ensuring the greatest amount of targeted traffic, generating the greatest interest in fans. So now it's up to you to take action. Make a list of what you would like your online music business to consist of. What are your passions? What is your expertise? Use the free Google keyword tool to create a list of keywords that you can target. Lay it out so that you have a number of categories with possible subcategories. You should even be able to have individual keyword targeted video ideas ready to start. If you found this information helpful or have a comment, please leave a note below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.